Hello students, welcome back. So let us start with our new chapter, Swimming Across the Sea. This is a chapter about many swimmers and many people who brought Lawrence to our country. So let us start students. Today, swimming has become an important sports in competitions like the Olympics. But see, swimming is something different from competitive swimming. It is an adventurous sport in which one needs different mental and physical strength as well as a sense of adventure. So now this is a chapter about swimmers and now the narrator is saying that sea swimming is very different from competitive swimming and as swimming is also involved in the Olympics so it becomes a very important chapter for us to know who were all the people who were involved and who were great swimmers of all times who bought medals for our country and made our country proud. In 1966, Mihir Sen did something that no swimmer had done before. He swam across the seven seas of the five continents in one calendar year, which means in 12 months, in just one year, he swam across seven seas of five continents. Mihir Sen did not always know how to swim. He never knew how to swim, but let's see how he got swimming, how he learned swimming eventually. Till he was 22, he only dog pedaled. So what do we mean by dog pedal students? Dog pedal is a kind of a... Dog pedal is a kind of a swimming pattern, right? He was not coached in the art of swimming. It was the urge to do something great which made him go to England. What do we mean by urge here students? It was something that he was very passionate about and he wanted to learn swimming and till the age of 22 he only knew dog pedaling and eventually he learned the art of swimming. In spite of a full time job and studies he spent a lot of time on railway platforms as a porter. So what do we mean here by Potter students? Potter means coolie. Till he got a cleric job in the office of the Indian High Commission. So eventually first he used to work on the railway station. Then he got a cleric job in the Indian High Commission. In spite of a full time job and studies, he spent every free minute in a swimming pool. So even if he had all the work, but he used to spend some time in swimming. For three years, Mihir Sen went through strenuous training till on 27th September 1958, he swam across the English Channel from Dover in England to Calais in France in 14 hours and 45 minutes, thus setting a record as the first Asian to have done so. So now he set on a record to swim for 14 hours and 45 minutes in and he went from Dowell in England to France in just 14 hours and 45 minutes and he set up the first Asian to have done so. He was awarded the Padma Shri in 1959 for his conquest of the 26 mile English Channel. So he swam so passionately because he always loved swimming. So he set up a world record of being the first Asian and then eventually he was nominated and he got Padma Shri in 1959. So what do we mean by conquest? Something which we have conquered, something we, which we have won at ease. The year 1966 was a year of great achievement for Mihir Sen. In April, he set a world record by swimming across the Park Strait, the sea between India and Sri Lanka. So now he is setting the next record of all times. So in April, he set the world record by swimming across the Park Strait, the sea between India and Sri Lanka. It was a brave feat. 
to dare the dangerous waves and the shark infected waters so even in the shark infected waters what do we mean by shark infected water students shark infected means water which is filled with sharks so even in a water filled with sharks he dared to go and swim and set up another record for india in august mehir swam across another dangerous stretch of water the shark filled strait of gibraltar between europe and africa in september he became the world's first man to swim the extremely dangerous strait of dardanelles so now one after another mihir sen is taking up task and achieving them so passionately because he loved swimming in recognition in all these achievements he was awarded padma shri repeat in recognition of all these achievements he was awarded the padma bhushan in 1967 his achievements motivated many young indians so now when mihir sen is going out in the world and bringing all the laurels and appreciation for the country so younger swimmers in our country is also getting inspired from him and they also want to make him an idol in 1974 Avinash Sarang a former water polo player from India crossed the English channel despite very bad weather Sarang's success revived interest in the English channel and between 1983 and 1989 14 Indian crossed it so now Mihir Sen is becoming an idol for all the young swimmers and now he inspired Avinash Saranj who was the water polo player from India and he crossed English channel despite a very bad weather and after Sarang 14 other Indians have also planned on crossing it and achieved crossing the English channels among them were children like Arti Pradhan who in 1987 at the age of just 14 students at the age of just 14 Arti Pradhan became the youngest Asian to swim the channel and we Katrileshwaran from Tamil Nadu who crossed the channel in 1994 at the age of just 13 so she was even younger than Arti Pradhan to cross the English channels that year Kutraleshwaran completed five other ocean swims and entered the Guinness Book of World Records. Among Indian channel conquerors, Taranth Shinoy 1983 feet is especially remarkable. Despite being deaf, mute and partially blind, Shinoy made the crossing in just 10 hours and 54 minutes. So now Taranth Shinoy who was deaf mute and blind he crossed and crossing and he made the crossing in just 10 hours and 54 minutes which is a huge task student so everyone is getting inspired from Mihir Sen and Avinash Saranj and every younger person is coming forward and showing their talent and bringing laurels from all across the world throughout the while in 1970s in 1983 in 1987 throughout this period of time many students many people after seeing the victory of mihir sen and getting inspired from mihir sen they all are coming forward and bringing laurels to our country the following year he attempted to swim non stop from england to france and back students but was unable to complete the return leg but he actually failed but it was a great achievement for him students to swim non stop from england to france 
of the 22 Indians who have crossed the English Channel, six have been women. So women haven't left behind in this stream as well. And it was very empowering for six women to come on forward and cross the English channels. Not just boys, but even women were coming in front and showing their talent. The most impressive have been former national swimming champion Anita Sood, who in 1987 crossed the English Channel in 8 hours and 15 minutes only. The fastest ever by an Indian. Not just in women category, but also in the male category. She was in the front because she crossed the English Channel in only 8 hours and 15 minutes. It was in the same year that another woman, C.N. Janaki, who was struck by polio when she was 2 years old, became the first physically disabled woman to be part of a successfully team crossing of the channel. So she also began her journey and became the first physically disabled woman to be part of fully successful team crossing of the English Channel. These swimmers could accomplish all that because of their love for adventure and their strong willpower. So, did you learn today's lesson students? We should always have willpower and be full of adventure to try and get inspired from people who are being appreciated and brings Lawrence to our country. Thank you students. This was the end of the chapter. I hope you all enjoyed it.